Hey everyone, it's Brugly, and today, boy, do I have a creepy video for you. This video is about a brand new Backrooms entity that just got added to the Wikidot, I think, yesterday. It's terrifying, it's gut-wrenching, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. This is a bonus video for the week, it's not gonna affect the upload schedule. Let's get into it. The entity in question is called Entity 666, aka the Happy Files Virus. Its IETS rating is 4C, which means the entity is very likely to unalive or wound you very badly if you don't take the proper precautions, and that this entity possesses low-level human intelligence but is still extremely dangerous. The entity itself is like a computer virus that's been causing chaos across the internet inside of the back rooms, and not just the internet, on the computers, and it's even a real-life threat as well. And you'll see why I say that in a second. Meg has tried to send other web crawling antivirus programs to destroy this Happy Files virus, but it's been deemed impossible to destroy because of how fast it clones itself. Entity 666 is very dangerous.exe file, and it also is a real manifestation that can describe itself in video game form, in executable form, in utility program forms, or even in real life form. As some of you know, there are computers on loads of different levels inside of the backrooms, which makes this threat even more dangerous because it reaches almost every level. The websites that Entity666 has been targeting are fileshare.backrooms, iirc.backrooms, folders.meg, and backroomsdrive.meg. And this entity will code itself into the files on those websites that can be downloaded and it will infect those files and when you download them well you just downloaded the entity it will specifically disguise itself into a dot zip file so when you download it from the website even though you thought you downloaded a game or something it will actually be this entity once you extract that dot zip file you'll see a text document that says thank you for downloading this program i hope you enjoy it Thank you for using Happy Files. And the program you're wanting to download will be there too, kind of. But instead of it being a normal high definition icon, it'll be a lower quality grainy picture instead of a normal one. If the program you wanted to download was like a utility program or something, like Microsoft Word, then the icon will be a picture of the entity's face instead of the normal image. As soon as you open the program, You'll notice that the Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen will also change into the entity's face. There's no way to change it back, you can't close the program with Task Manager, you can't delete it, it's just completely infected, and you're probably doomed. I'm gonna be real with you, you're probably doomed. Once you launch this program, you are now considered Entity 66A because Entity 666 will now start hunting you down. If the program you downloaded was supposed to be a video game, then at around 15 minutes after you launch the game, you'll be able to see the manifestation of this entity inside of the actual gameplay. It'll start to follow your in-game character around slowly, but then it'll start to run really, really fast towards your character, and once it catches up to you, it'll jump scare on the screen by flashing a picture of its face and it'll crash your computer, turn off the lights, make the electricity go out in your room, and everything will just be black. Then it's time for the physical manifestation of the entity. It's been described as a tall, all-black humanoid, measuring around 2.1 meters in height. It wears a white mask and it has extremely unsettling wide eyes with a huge smile. Now its facial expression does not change through its manifestation at all. It's the same on the computer, it's the same in real life, and it's always creepy. After this entity has had its fun as a virus on your computer, it will then morph into a real life flesh and blood creature and will try to jump scare you until you have a heart attack in real life. If that doesn't work, then it'll chase you like in the video game. Slowly at first, but then extremely fast to the point where it's running around you in circles, and then it'll attack you in a gory way. After it successfully offs the person it chooses, the downloaded file that it came in and all the evidence of the entity will delete itself of any evidence from the computer. And it's like it never existed. 
So to summarize, this insane new entity is pretty much a virus that clings to a real program that people would download with the Backrooms internet. It'll infect whatever program that is. Once you launch it, it'll manifest into a real flesh and blood entity in the same room as you and chase you down until it offs you. That's actually terrifying, bro. Like, imagine the reach of this thing. It could reach the entirety of the backrooms if it wanted to. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this little entity spotlight video. I've never really done one like this, but if you did enjoy it, I could do another. Like I said, this is just a bonus video for the week and there'll be a brand new full length video tomorrow or the next day, I haven't decided yet, which it'll actually be part one of the Backrooms Iceberg. That's right, Brugley is doing a Backrooms Iceberg series. I think it's gonna be fun. I think you're gonna like it. Let me know if you're hyped for that. Uh, go check out Tugli. Just uploaded a video on there about me guessing all of the European countries. And uh, I think I did pretty good. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you Tuesday. Peace.